Click on the airframe object from the library. Many times in the course of constructing a mesh we get unwanted vertices. These vertices are either single or define edges or faces. The weld and erase vertex tools on the point edit toolbar can help us adjust them. The erase tool will remove the selected vertex or vertices and any edges that are between them. If we click on this edge here and erase the vertices, this is the result. The edge we selected no longer has endpoints defined and is removed. Likewise, the horizontal edges no longer have a point defining a corner and become single lines. However, selecting an edge is different than selecting two endpoints. On this side, there are a number of lines we need to remove. Selecting this edge and erasing will remove just that edge. There are still more than two edges defining each vertex, so they remain. Undo. Selecting the same two vertices directly and erasing will remove all the lines connected to them, like so. Keep in mind that depending on the selection mode, we can get very different results while working with the same vertices. Selecting a face is like selecting multiple connected edges all at once. When erased, you will get different results based on how the face is connected to the surrounding geometry. Multiple edges, no edges, and single edges. Notice the results when erasing these three faces. Nothing is left here or here, but here we see new lines have been created. The weld tool joins one or more vertices into a single vertex. We will weld these two vertices back here. Notice how the connected edges converge. The resulting vertex will be centered between the vertices we welded. This means that the weld tool will do nothing when applied to a single vertex. After adjusting some points, erasing an extra edge using the erase tool, and moving this edge in negative x, we will switch to the front. Using the weld tool, we will eliminate these middle sections on this face one at a time. Next, we will erase the diagonal edges that remain. We now have the face how we want it. We are now ready to mirror our object using the Mirror plugin. Select the face and click the tool. Save the original if desired and then delete the one on the grid. We now need to get rid of a few more edges on the front. Notice the order in which these are erased so as to maintain the geometry. Remember that edges between points are removed, so we need to be careful. Once finished, we are ready to continue with the weld tool. When selecting a face and applying the weld tool, all the vertices will combine into one at the center and bring their associated edges with them. We will next select two consecutive edges and weld them. Notice how the weld point is again in the center of the selection. We really do not want to do this, but since we are still in point edit mode, we don't have to worry. We simply undo. Once you leave point edit mode, these actions cannot be undone. We will now use the erase tool to make a few more vertex and edge deletions and use the edge tool to add a few new ones. Notice I will only demonstrate this on one side. Now we will adjust some other points in Z
and x and move this face back. Next we will do a sweep and some other edge manipulations on the nose in plus and minus y scale and minus z. Apply some smoothing at level 3 for a final look and let's see what we have. Not a bad looking aircraft.